imperative you come up with feature article on the Old West. Time magazine is doing major spread. C.R. Cummings. Well, you know, big cities really bug me. I just can't wait to get out of them. Yeah, I know what you mean. Everyone trying to take advantage of everyone else. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at this, will you? Isn't it marvelous? You know, this is one assignment I think I'm really going to enjoy. After descending into Red Rock Canyon, there are a number of ghost towns. It is advisable to be careful of your choice, as many roadside panders often charge fees for a little more than a few mounds of desolate ground. Yeah, I'll bet. Hey, look at that over there. You want to try it? Sure, why not? Yeah. Cost you two bucks to see the ghost town. Real interesting. Okay. Oh, say, so Galen, you got any change? Yeah. Two bucks each and a dollar for the car. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding. I sure ain't. Five bucks to go see some. I'd like to see it. Hurry up, Sonny. I ain't got all day. Ghost town? What ghost town? Well, we've been taken. You know, nobody's ever lived here, much less a ghost town. You're a trespass. No, we've got permission from the lady up in front. The yeah, lady well, uh, you just give me my two bucks or get out of here. But we just paid that lady by the road five dollars. <laughs> You've been took. She ain't got no right. Now, give me my five bucks. You just said two. Nope, I said five. Oh, listen, no way. Come on, yeah, let's get in the car and go. Hey! Forget it. For God's sakes, give him the money. Oh. Jerry! Yeah, but that old squaw's not. You old thief. Did you enjoy the ghost town? Rummy through the bones of history? Look, you had no right to take my money. You wanted to see the ghost town, didn't you? Well, you seen it. Yeah, yeah, some ghost town. Now look, I want my money back. How about double or nothing? Double or nothing? Black Nola was real enough once. It was bad. Everyone in it was bad. Real bad. If and I tell you how Black Nola got to be a ghost town, 
and you think it ain't worth it, I'll give you your money back. But if you likes it, then it's double. It was right after they blew up the train. Nemo and Kid Dandy decided to rob the stage. That Nemo was a real bad one. He wanted the gold on that stage. He carefully planned the holdup and had every member of his gang closing in on Box Canyon. And before Judd knew what had happened, he was trapped. Ah, uh, don't shoot him, Nemo. Let's frame him. Don't think he did it. Better him than us. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh. Oh, Judd went to jail. And all the time he was there, he kept promising himself that one day he'd get that Nemo and every member of his gang. quit, but he kept on running. It was Nemo, the thought of getting Nemo that kept his body going till he finally topped the mesa. He still kept on a running. He just had to cross them badlands and make his way down the steep face of San Juan Batista. By that time it was getting dark and mighty cold. cheese and some home brewing there. Help yourself. Sheriff of Black Miller was on Nemo's payroll, so he just, <laughs> he just turned his back whenever there was trouble. Collect the rent. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not paying Nemo's rent? Okay, have it your own way. I'm not supporting him or his horse.
God. Oh, all right. Get him out of here. Hey. Hey. My face. My face! It wasn't your fight. I was drinking this beer. He ain't planning on staying. No, sir, just, uh, just passing through. Make sure. No words. I, I'm just not going to listen anymore. I won't. All right, all right. Well, you go home and start packing. I'll bring the wagon around. Thank you very much. Yeah. These men, this Nemo, they're no good. They're evil. You'd better get out of here. Anything here you want, take it. There's an old mule out back. Uh, thanks. Judge took himself one look at that mule and decided it was one sad sight. Still and all, he figured it had to be walking. Sing a song, do your dance. Be a good little tin marshal. But the pipe has got to be paid for his tune. Not just with money, either. <laughs> I want you here. That's all you have to worry about. Why didn't you hold in front of me? I've just about had it with him, Billy. I don't care if he is your brother. And I don't care if he goes with you. As a matter of fact, I'm just about ready to cut it off. You slut, you. After dark, Judd made his way back down into Black Muller. First thing on his mind was to kill Nemo. as mean as Nemo. Maybe he a touch meaner. So Nemo kept him around to keep the gang in line. Well, nobody could draw as fast as he could. Afraid, wasn't a bit afraid. Indian maid wasn't a bit afraid to lie on her back in an Indian shack.
fellow had proved the game of four legged rush with his <laughs> between his eyes. <laughs> John weren't the luckiest fella. Nothing seemed to go right. Little Moon came running into Black Miller yelling for help with a couple of Nemo gang chasing right after him.
and comforts bleed. Help of the helpless, oh, abide with me. With to a close, babes of life's Well, it weren't Nemo, but at least he'd gotten two of the gang, and that weren't a bad start. Yes, ma'am. Little Moon just couldn't figure him out. He was actually being kind to her. Ah.
last more. Judd might be picking the gang off one by one, but she'd made up her mind to do it in a single crack. ma'am, or I don't want to seem like I'm trying to pry, but uh, what was it you were uh, prying with? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Yo, yo quiero ayudarte si tú quieres que me ayude. ¿Eh? ¿Y 
Jared got to thinking. Maybe she weren't too crazy after all. Her trying to send down that rock had given him an idea. Jordan decided they'd divide the work equally. She'd do the hauling, and he'd do the planning. Oh, 
Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Yo, yo quiero ayudarte si te quieres que me ayude. There was no denying she was pretty good with that thing. Still and all, it just couldn't be too hard. Necesito el agua. Con su permiso. ¿Eh? Permiso. I'm a Nemo's gang, coming back from a raid with a wagon load of goods they just stole. Well, there was one way to fix that. It's some, uh, some dry wood. Wood. Wood burn. Wood burn. Burn wood. Wood burn, si compare.
Little Moon went right on doing her share while Jud did the designing. They were going to build them a catapult. I want that drifter, that cowpoke with the branding iron. I want him. After what happened to that wagon, Nemo and Kid Dandy figured they'd had about enough. So they wasted no time in attending some of the gang to get Judd.
If we can get him before I make the turn. Can wrestling match. No rules, no holds barred, and no interference. Anybody that interferes is going to have to answer to me. In this corner, we've got Mr. Polk. Oh.
voice. Well, this time Nemo was really headed. He got together a posse and they was going to get Judd and that engine. Let's some of the men up that draw there. After a while, it got kind of discouraging. So Nemo left Arnie in the gang to keep on looking. He had a meeting with his dandy back in Black Muller about robbing the new stage. He's got to be up here someplace. Well, just keep looking. I'm going back in the town. Come on. Engines that even thought of yet. Lost four good men out there. Couldn't even find them. Must be a dozen of them hid up there in the woods. You ever try finding a ghost, Nemo? Well, that's what's up there, only. There must be a hundred of them. Well, I'm clear now. I'm going with you. Me too. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> you can't take all three of us. Wrong. dynamite to make it work. And that meant going back down to Nemo's supply shack.
the bus? Huh? Where'd you go? I'm going back. Little Moon hadn't figured on Judd being that confoundedly stubborn. But by golly, if he was going back for that dynamite, then she was going to get the rest of what was needed.
Thank <laughs> you. 